Are the Kardashians really laundering money? And did Kanye West really try to warn us about them? Around $50 million. Now I'm going to different CFOs like, okay, so would this be tax evasion? New details are starting to emerge about the Car Jenner's shady business dealings, and sources are convinced that this is the reason why Kanye kept his money separate from Kim during their marriage. Like I've been trying to buy my own bank for the longest, and then we figured out how to get my own bank. It's like 50 million, 75 million. So I'm about to buy my own bank. However, Money laundering is a serious accusation. So is there any real proof to this? And what's the real truth about the Car Jenner's massive wealth? Shocking allegations recently started flying around about the Car Jenner's allegedly being involved in multiple money laundering schemes. Reports also emerged that Kanye always kept his assets separate from Kim Kardashian while they were married. And people are saying this is because Kanye witnessed firsthand the Kardashian's shady money moves. To give you some context, rumors about the Car Jenner's lying and stealing their way to the upper elites of fame have been around for years. And as you probably know, before Kim rebranded herself into a businesswoman and beauty mogul, she was a closet cleaner for celebs like Paris Hilton, Serena Williams, and Brandy. Now, Kim's connection to Brandy is very interesting because few people know that Brandy's mom exposed Kim for stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars from Brandy. Back in 2008, Sonia Norwood filed a lawsuit against Kim, Chloe, Courtney, and Rob, accusing them of using Brandy's credit card to make unauthorized purchases at the Kardashian-owned store. Stores. The lawsuit was eventually settled out of court for an undisclosed amount, and somehow Kim managed to sweep this episode under the carpet. But it looks like the shady dealings never stopped because Kim was also exposed for accepting dirty money from her rumored sugar daddy at the beginning of her career. According to a recent report by Bloomberg Businessweek, Kim used to be very close to controversial Malaysian businessman and fugitive Joe Lowe. And in 2019, the FBI questioned Kim about the money she received from Lowe. Kim told the FBI that back in 2009, she partied with Lowe in a Las Vegas casino, and at the end of the night, she went home with a trash bag full of $100 bills totaling $250,000. Now, it's unclear why exactly Lo was so generous to Kim, but she obviously did something to earn his generosity because he later gave her another $100,000 ahead of her wedding to Chris Humphreys and an additional $305,000 in cash. But despite getting repeatedly exposed for scheming her way to the top, Kim continued to stir up controversy with her shady business moves. Back in October, 2022, Kim was forced to pay $1.26 million after the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission discovered that she had received $250,000 for advertising a crypto scheme on her Instagram without disclosing she had been paid to do so. But Kim is not the only member of the Car Jenner clan who was exposed for lying about the way she made her wealth. After all, she had to learn this from someone, so it's no surprise that her momager Kris Jenner was also accused of running a tax scam. Back in 2009, Kris Jenner co-founded her own church called Cal California Community Church. And there's been a lot of reports in the media that the church was built for tax evasion purposes. Apparently, Chris's church is registered as a nonprofit charity. However, members of the church have to pay $1,000 a month and give 10% of their income as donations. So because the church is registered as a charity, the Kardashians get a 10% tax reduction a year, and the monthly fee the church members pay goes back into Kris Jenner's pockets. Also, whenever Kim or someone else from the Car Jenner clan donates money to the church, not only do they get that as a tax write-off, but they're also donating the money to their own mother, which means that the money always stays in the family. But if you thought that this was shocking, wait till you hear how the Car Jenners allegedly profited $600 million from Britney Spears' conservatorship. If you were on the internet at the height of the Free Britney movement, then you probably know the Kardashians were strangely silent about Britney's conservatorship. And this may have something to do with the Car Jenners' relationship with Lou Taylor, Britney's former manager who reportedly convinced Britney's dad to put Britney under conservatorship. According to documents obtained by Page Six, Lou Taylor was listed as a registered agent for Kim's company, KKW Fragrance, as well as Kylie Jenner's King Kylie LLC and King Kylie Holdings. The documents also show that Lou served as an agent for service of process for Kendall Jenner, Inc., as well as Kris Jenner's nonprofit, Kardashian Jenner Family Foundation. And to top it all off, recently leaked documents from Kim and Kanye's divorce show that Lou Taylor was listed as the trustee of Kim's trust fund, Noel Roberts Trust. But how exactly does this prove the Kardashians profited from Britney's conservatorship? Well, according According to a viral Twitter thread created by Britney Hiatus, the Car Jenners may have used their connections to Lou Taylor to pocket $600 million of Britney's money. Apparently, it all started back in 2018 when Britney's younger sister, Jamie Lynn, was briefly appointed as a trustee of Britney's largest trust. Jamie Lynn reportedly filed documents to move Britney's money into a separately managed trust account with a company called Stonebridge. And according to at Britney Hiatus, the vice president
president of Stonebridge is none other than Lou Taylor. The account also alleged that Stonebridge assets went up and then down by $600 million right around the time that Jamie Lynn filed her petition. And this is because Lou Taylor allegedly transferred $600 million Jamie Lynn had invested into a holding company by the same name registered in Panama, one of the best known tax havens in the world. And this is where the alleged Kardashian connection starts creeping in. In January 2022, Forbes published an article titled Kim Kardashian is 600 million richer after shapewear brand Skims hits 3.2 billion valuation. And yes, this could be a coincidence, but as Ad Britney hiatus pointed out, if you're Lou Taylor and you need to hide 600 million, would Kim's estate be a logical place to try and hide it? Hmm. However, that's not the only coincidence. Shortly before Kim's wealth increased by 600 million, news also broke that Kylie Jenner sold half of her company, Kylie Cosmetics, for, you guessed it, 600 million. Kylie, $600 million for the business. What was your reaction when you heard that number? Well, for half of the business, so yes. it's worth double that. Yeah. So, <laughs> just to fact check you guys. Something definitely feels fishy here, and as Britney's fan account pointed out, if these allegations are true, then what Lou Taylor and the Kardashians did with Britney's money would be a classic case of money laundering. And to top all of this, rumors are now flying around that another way the Kardashians launder money is by constantly building new properties. After reports emerged that Kylie is currently building yet another house worth $15 million, right next to Kris Jenner's mansion, one fan on Reddit proposed an interesting theory speculating that the constant construction is a money laundering scheme. Now, when it comes to Kanye West, it's unclear to what extent he was aware of the Kardashians' rumored financial schemes. However, Kanye did previously throw shade at Kylie after Forbes exposed her for faking her billionaire status. Back in 2020, a previously unreleased music video for Kanye and Tyga's song, Feel Me, leaked online featuring a bizarre scene of Kim seemingly giving birth to Kylie. The director of the music video, Eli Lynette, later told E that this scene was a message about Kylie's rise to fame and wealth, the metaphorical meaning being that there would be no Kylie without Kim, Lynette said. But that's not all. After Kim and Kanye's divorce was finalized, reports surfaced that the former spouses didn't have to separate their assets because Kanye made sure to keep his money separate from Kim. In fact, back in 2016, long before the divorce was even on the horizon, a source close to Kanye told People that Kim and Kanye kept their accounts basically separate, also adding that Kanye always talks about my money and her money. Fans are now saying Kanye was probably one step ahead and knew the Kardashians were capable of stripping him of his wealth. Man, I cannot even begin to express how glad I am Kanye got out of that family, one fan commented. I hope he realizes this might be one of the best things to happen to him because those people are so wicked and will do anything to anyone just to advance themselves. The fan also said that it looks like we're finally witnessing the Kardashians' well-deserved downfall and added they're gonna get everything they deserve for treating people like literal dirt. And then another person person responded saying, I'm so glad Ye got out before that wicked witch could get her claws on his empire. They tried it, tried to Britney Spears him, but it didn't work. Ye was too smart for them. It seems like so much of their underhandedness is coming out more and more. Karma is coming for them. But let's hear your thoughts on this. How shady are the Kardashians' business schemes really? Do you think they're actually laundering money? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to click on this next video.